Welcome back to those who are reading along with us in our Bible reading plan. The verse that stuck out to me today comes from Genesis chapter 20, and I'm cheating, I have two, verses 5 and 6. Genesis chapter 20, verses 5 and 6, which says this. Didn't Abraham tell me that she is my sister? This is the king talking. Didn't Abraham tell me that she is my sister? And she herself said, yes, he is my brother. I, the king declares this, I, decl I acted in complete innocence. My hands are clean. And in this dream, God responded to the king and said, yes, I know that you are innocent. That's why I kept you from sinning against me and why I did not let you touch her. I, I love this passage because I use this as an illustration all the time to answer a question that Christians have a lot as they're growing in their faith. Uh, and the question is, is do, does man have free will or is God in control of all things? Which is true, free will or predestination? And I love this passage because it's a perfect, there's a lot of them in scripture, but this is a perfect passage to teach that free will and predestination are both true at the same time. Because people ask all the time, which, what, they, they seem to be in conflict with one another, right? Is God in charge or does man have free will? Does God control all things or does man make meaningful choices and move through life? And the answer to that question is yes, both. Both are true at the same time. In this passage, what I love about this passage is you find the king telling God, this is what I did. I did this, I did this, and I did this. I acted out of my own free will and did this, this, and this. And God says, I know. He acknowledges his free will. And then God says, I kept you from doing this. I controlled the situation so that you didn't mess it up. In, in this passage, not, not in scripture at large, this isn't systematic theology, this is out of one passage, out of one story, you have man acting in his free will and God acting in his control of all things and those things mesh together perfectly. So when you think of free will and predestination, what I encourage you to do is think of that, that phrase that we say in weddings all the time that you hear in weddings, uh, what God has put together, let not man right, uh, put asunder. So the, the whole idea of we try to separate the things that God puts together, here's the reality. God acknowledges the free will of man and we will be judged by our actions. And God also controls all things. He moves from the beginning of time to the end of time and he will accomplish his purposes and both are true at the same time. So let's take this, this confounding in an over our heads concept and let's put it back into prayer and pray it back to God. Father, I thank you that you decided to create us with free will so that we could love you and true love could exist. I also thank you that you are in charge of all things, that the future my salvation, our redemption is not dependent upon us, but will be brought to fruition because of you. And thank you that you are beyond our comprehension, that you are not small enough to where we can understand everything and how it works together in our minds. But thank you for being patient with us like children. We love you very much. It's in your son's name. And all of God's people said, amen. Uh, if you'd like to join us on this journey, go to graceunitedlr.com and find the Bible reading plan and we'll move together. See you tomorrow.